The Impel H17s are not a brand new pair of active noise canceling headphones. In fact, they came out over a year ago, but even still today, they're regarded as some of the best budget ANC headphones that you can buy. They give you good battery life at about 20 hours using ANC, good audio quality, and you also get respectable call quality. Now I've had my pair of H17s for just over a month now, and I'm telling you guys, there's a reason why these have almost 6,000 Amazon reviews and an overall 4.5 rating. When these initially came out, you could usually find them for about $49.99, which is the retail price, but normally, nowadays, you can get these for about 36 bucks. And I have to tell you guys, at 36 bucks, these things are solid, and I definitely think that they are still at that price. But you have to remember, guys, these are using some older tech, which I will get into a little bit later on in this video. I'll also give you guys my mic audio quality test, along with my leakage test. I'll also give you guys my opinion on how these perform in terms of the active noise canceling and the overall sound quality. And last but certainly not least, I'll give you guys my opinion on whether or not I think these are worth the buy in 2021. So let's get right into it. But before we get into the video, guys, I just want to give a quick shout out to the homies over at Brim of the World. They sponsored this video and provided me with this dope hat I'm wearing right now. The hat that I'll be wearing throughout the video is out of the Killer Bees collection. But if you check the website out at botworldinkshop.com, you'll see that they have a lot of different collections and all different types of dope merch. So once again, guys, shout out to the homies over at Brim of the World. This is definitely a smooth look. All right, guys, so first taking a look at what you get inside of the box, you get pretty much everything you would need to get the headphones up and running. You have your user manual, a micro USB cable to charge the headphones. Yes, you have to remember these are an older pair of headphones, so they are still using micro USB. Followed by that, you get a 3.5 millimeter cable to use the headphones in wired mode if you want to. And last but certainly not least, you get a nice carrying bag and your headphones are inside of it. The carrying case itself is a nice touch and it is nice to have if you're gonna take the headphones and your accessories on the go with you, but you have to remember that it's not a hard case, so protection will be limited. But taking a look at the design of the headphones, I must say that I do like it. They have a really nice and subtle look to them without a bunch of branding all around the headphones, and the all black looks really professional, in my opinion. On the outside of the ear cups, you have like a leatherette type material, which is nice, and there is plenty of padding on both the ear cups and the top headband. And while I'm talking about the padding that you get with these headphones, let me touch on the comfort, because these are extremely comfortable headphones to wear. These headphones are rocking 40 millimeters driver so the ear cups completely surround your ears but like I said they're extremely comfortable to wear I have no issues for the overall construction with the h17s they do feel sturdy in the hands while I'm handling them I don't hear any creaks or anything of that nature and they are relatively flexible another nice thing that you have with the design of these headphones is that you can completely fold them up if you want to or you can also lay them flat on a surface if you want to as well so if those are concerns for you they got you covered. For the battery life specs with the H17s, they'll give you about 20 hours on a single charge if you're using ANC. If you have ANC turned off, you'll get about 45. I would say at 36 bucks, those numbers are pretty respectable, but these also do feature quick charging, so only 10 minutes worth of charging will get you up to two hours worth of use. Now, I did mention earlier, guys, that these headphones are using micro USB for charging, but another area where these headphones are gonna show their age is in the Bluetooth version. For connection, these headphones are using Bluetooth 4.1 and it has been a while since I've said that. I haven't tested out a Bluetooth 4.1 pair of headphones or earbuds in quite some time. But I must say guys, even though these are not using the latest and greatest in terms of Bluetooth connection, they pair to all of my devices just fine and I don't have any lag issues. I have used these headphones with both my iPhone 12 Pro and my Galaxy S21. Everything worked just fine. They paired in a few seconds. Yes, it does take a little bit longer than some of my newer headphones, but it's not a big difference. If you're gonna be doing a lot of hardcore mobile gaming or something of that nature, you will probably see some lag, but I've used these to watch some movies and some YouTube videos, and they were pretty synced up. The working range with these headphones has also been pretty good for me. I can usually leave my device here in my workroom and walk all around my second floor. The product page says that you'll get about a 33 foot working range with these headphones, and based on my testing, I think that's accurate. So moving on and touching on the playback controls that you have with the H17s, as you can see you have physical buttons so for those of you that don't like touch controls they got you covered and i'm happy to report that you have all of your playback controls with these headphones you can control your tracks your calls summon your voice assistant control your volume and you can also toggle on or off 
active noise canceling. Next, moving on and touching on the leakage that you'll get with these headphones, they do get pretty loud, so they are gonna leak quite a bit of sound. In my opinion, the leakage that you get with these headphones is pretty much on par with other headphones using 40 millimeter drivers, but I did do my test so that you guys can judge for yourselves. Let's take a listen. <laughs> So switching gears and touching on the ANC that you get with these headphones, I must say that I am impressed with the way that they perform. Now they're certainly not perfect and they're not gonna get rid of all of your ambient sounds, but if I had to guess, I'd say that they reduce probably 30 to 40% of sounds such as a fan buzzing, an engine running, or an AC running. I'm also impressed with how these perform in terms of the sound quality. The highs and mids are crisp and clear. You also get a nice level of bass as well. When I'm listening to these, I feel like I'm getting a nice full sound. I'm able to hear those nice background instruments and vocals just fine. And also, if I'm listening to something with a nice bass line, I'm able to feel it. One thing that I do want to note for you guys is that you're going to get the best sound out of these with ANC toggled on. When you toggle ANC off, the sound signature is gonna be noticeably flatter and the overall output is gonna be lower. So for those reasons, I pretty much never turn ANC off while I'm using these headphones. Even though you get less battery life, they're just much more pleasurable to listen to with ANC turned on. Now the H17s do have built-in mics for voice calls, so you can take and make voice calls directly from them. I have used them quite a bit for voice calls and nobody complained about how I sounded. But as always, I did do my mic audio quality test so that you guys can judge for yourselves. Let's take a listen. All right guys, so right now I have the headphones paired to my iPhone 12 Pro. As you can see there, it's recording directly from the microphones on the headphones. Now I'm not gonna do any type of editing to this audio. So this more or less should give you a pretty good idea of how these perform for voice calls. So taking everything into consideration, guys, I don't have much to complain about with these headphones for the price. Yes, they are using some older tech, but if you can get past those limitations, they're definitely solid. That being said, I think you guys get the picture. I don't have much to complain about with these headphones. I still think they are a good buy, even in 2021. If this was your first time here, consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that notification bell as I drop at least one video on content just like this per week. Like I always say, y'all be safe, y'all stay positive, and most importantly, I hope y'all have a great day. I'll catch y'all in the next one, but until then, it's your boy Tecmo, and I'm out. Peace.